What's going on internet today? I really want to take you behind the scenes of my latest mural at a place called Be A Good Person. It's a clothing store, really good people, and they asked me to do a mural. So basically I documented everything because I wanted to give you a stage by stage sort of explanation of the mural process so that when you're out there looking to get into your own murals, you'll know some of the different things you have to think about uh, when you're doing your own mural project. So hopefully this video is very helpful. So let's get started so we can actually see exactly what those stages are. So one of the first things that I have to do is actually visit the location because I get a lot of information in terms of like where I have to drop off stuff, how do I load in all my supplies, uh, what do I need to mask off, you know, who's going to be at the sort of the location when I'm painting, how, you know, how do I get access and do I get the key, things like that. So it really helps out a lot to visit that location. And then I love this sort of measuring app on my phone. So I'm able to sort of measure how tall the wall is so I know exactly how much paint that I need or how big the ladder I need should be. So I mean that is sort of really good information um, that I have to have and then usually I take a picture bring it back to my studio and then on my iPad I sort of do some mock-up stuff so this is what I did here a lot of mocking up and then gathering supplies on what I need. The one thing I noticed was that the wall was flat so I'm able to use not only brushwork but a lot of spray uh, medium as well and then after that once I get started it's all about prepping the space because you want to make sure you keep it as clean as possible prep 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 so you don't get paint on anything because it's gonna help out um, after you sort of take everything down in terms of keeping everything clean and then afterwards that is when the sort of fun begins I'm able to paint you know I'm painting throughout the day and I'm just throwing down colors. So this one is, I'm using a lot of rollers right here to just get down sort of the main base with the latex so I don't have to use all spray paint. So most of it's uh, actually just rollers. So most of the beginnings is rollers and then leftover paint that I have and I went out and got some other special paint that I sort of needed or the colors that I really, really wanted. And really it's just like tackling that wall, um, just throwing down colors. And throughout the whole time, I'm just basically sort of improv it a little bit. I have like a clue of what I want to do. And I love doing abstract stuff because I get to use different tools like this pesticide sprayer. And, you know, it's just something I bought at Home Depot at the time just to get sort of those different textures. And really after that, I'll go back over it and sort of paint over some different areas and just layer, 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 layer as much as I can so that it's a, a very sort of complicated sort of process in terms of how I lay colors down and then going back over with the sprayer, sort of knocking those colors back a little bit. But uh, really just like trying to sort of game plan as I'm sort of going along. And sometimes I don't know how it's going to come out or look like, but that's like one of the, the fun parts is not being able to sort of really see it until I put it down. Um, it's, it's a lot more difficult that way, but it's a lot more fun. So this is the store where I am, be a good person right there. And you can kind of see the sort of space. It's uh, just about to open up. They haven't opened up all the way. They wanted a couple of murals in there. So this is going to be mine and basically lay down a couple of coats of color. Um, sort of did some fading today with the sprayer. And basically tomorrow I'm going to finish it up. I'm going to add some of the hard lines, then figure out some of the white sort of splatter and basically have to mock it up uh, to see exactly how it's going to go uh, before I actually put down those final coats. So um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. So like I said, these sort of layers or stages take various amounts of time based on the sort of size of the wall. But um, this one only took a day to sort of uh, do most of it. And this is sort of like the second day I came back and started to add these white lines. I wanted to have something that sort of tied everything together, but was still abstract. And you know, this white little streak across sort of adds something a little bit different to it. And it's, it's a little bit bolder uh, with like the background of just like, that just has that punch of color. So these murals, like I said, are really, really fun. 
Um, they're sort of something I get to experiment with a lot of just different tools. And because the wall is super flat, it's basically a new innovation. So I'm able to play around with it a lot. Just like throwing pesticide sprayers and you know other sorts of tools at it. And then really it's like after all that stuff is done, that's when you sort of really have to clean up. And like I said, because you're prepping at the beginning, all the sort of masking, it's easier to do all the cleanup afterwards. And once you put the sort of the furniture or, you know, you put everything back to where it was, that's when the mural really, really pops. And that's why I like doing murals like this. So hopefully you guys get to see it as you visit this shop in Denver, Colorado, be a good person. Uh, so yeah. So hopefully that helped out a lot in terms of looking at my mural process and what I did for this mural. And other mural processes are going to be different. Every project is going to be different, but you know, seeing exactly the process I use, um, that will help you out in determining some of the tools or the prep work that you need to do in your own mural project. So hopefully, like I said, that helped out. Definitely like and subscribe to this video if you want to support me and hit that bell notification so that you get notified of my next videos as well. I super appreciate you all watching. If you have any questions, make sure you throw it in the comment section below because I want to make sure that I'm providing as much sort of good information to the new and emerging and aspiring artists out there like yourself. So let's get it done.